I wanted to share with you today um, a lesson the Lord has taught me through one of the Psalms. Psalm 137 is the Psalm I've been reading for several weeks now. The first four verses were interesting to me, but there was one phrase in those four verses that really caught my attention. I'd like to share that passage with you. Psalm 137, the first four verses. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sit down. Yes, we wept when we remembered Zion. We hung our harps upon the willows in the midst of it. For there those who carried us away captive ask of us a song. And those who plundered us requested mirth, saying, Sing us one of the songs of Zion. But how shall we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? The phrase that caught my attention was, we hung our harps upon the willows. Harps. That phrase brought three things to my mind. First of all, the harps were not destroyed. They held on to them. The harps were important to them. The second thing was, they hung the harps because they didn't have a song right now but maybe later they would. And the third thing was they hung the harps so that when or if they got to go home, they would have the harps to take with them. Exile. They were in exile. I can identify with that. Now you may question, what? You're not in exile. But oh, yes, we are. Peter said in his very first epistle that we were strangers and pilgrims. Well, if we're strangers and pilgrims, we're foreigners. And if we're foreigners, we're exiled from home. I love what the songwriter penned when he wrote, This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. So we're in exile. The other thing that helps me identify with the children of Israel when they were in exile was that they had no song. And there have been times when there has been no song. There hasn't even been a hum. I think about the darkness in our world right now today. There's moral decay, there's cultural chaos, there is political conflict. There's so much darkness around us. Sometimes it's hard to sing a song. Sometimes it's hard to come up with the tune. But the lesson the Lord has taught me is that the song does not depend on the circumstances around me. The song depends upon what has happened within me. And so there is a song to sing. The children of Israel probably weren't ever going home, some of them, but yet they hoped. Now ours is different. We don't know when we're going home, but we know we are going home. And we've been left with the responsibility of bringing or taking others with us. And so we need to keep our song going so that others will want to come and go along with us. I want to challenge you and maybe even encourage you that as we end 2022 and we start to step into 2023, let's be mindful of the song we are to sing and the news we are to share. Let's take our cue from Psalm 96, and I'd like to share that with you. The first three verses say, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. Hmm. We have work to do. We have a message to share. 
we have good news to tell. So tune your harps, practice the song, praise ye the Lord.